What is happening guys? We're Craig and Amy and you are watching King and It! And this week we're going to show you one of the most incredible truck conversions we've ever seen. It's so unique, it's the only one in the world like it. Not only are we going to give you a full tour, but we're going to be sleeping here, cooking here, hanging out with the locals. Do you like tomatoes? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> and trying our hand at surfing. How was it? I don't want to talk about it. This whole truck hydraulically expands. But before we give you a full tour and introduce you to the owners, let's get you up to speed on how we landed here. We've been traveling Morocco in our bus for just over two months. We explored the mountains. Top car, baby! We've driven some lush gorges. And you last saw us in the desert where we celebrated my birthday. That is the best birthday gig ever. It says Craig Holmes on it. <laughs> <laughs> After Mazuga, we drove 460 miles to the coast. En route, we had a bit of a hiccup. What the f***? What was that? There's a hole in the window and it's just all shattered. But we've duct taped this thing on for now. We made it to Imswan to celebrate Christmas with our van life pals and had some downtime. Then we headed to see our friend Ayub, who sorted us out with a brand new window. Hey! <laughs> Is there some more here? Whilst we were there, Daniela slid into our DMs and invited us to hang out at their one of a kind truck in a place called Moknari. On the way there, Amy's dreams came true. <laughs> Hello, good morning! <laughs> like, who owns them? Where's their parents? Welcome to Morocco. Oh my god, it's massive! This is Eduardo and Daniela. They are the owners of the Truck Surf Hotel. So we made this truck from scratch and uh, it's a unique uh, structure. There's no other structure like this one in the world. The concept that we create with the trips uh, together with this innovation and comfort, it doesn't exist anywhere else, only the Truck Surf Hotel. <laughs> this is the Truck Surf Hotel. Now we're going to give you a full van tour and show you what you get for roughly £400,000. We don't know the exact price. Amy's going to show you the inside, but before she does that, I'm going to show you the outside and give you some stats for this beast. The Truck Surf Hotel is a 2005 Mercedes Actros 1832. It weighs a whopping 19 tonnes and it has an 11,000cc engine. It's 11.5 metres in length, 4 metres high and 2.5 metres wide. All of these stats are when the truck is fully open. And Eduardo tells us it gets roughly 25 litres per 100 kilometres. She's a big girl! But as it stands, she's not very transportable. But the uniqueness of the design of this is that it expands and contracts so that it can be driven as a normal truck. How sick is that? Will you shut up, mate? Okay, outside tour commencing. This truck is a monster. So the guys have got these hydraulic levelers here, so there's buttons inside, so when they're parking on a wonk, they can level the truck out so the guests aren't sleeping on their heads. And the electrical box lives by there. It's like a proper fuse box for a house. Outdoor seating area. <laughs> so if you come and stay as a guest, which you can, we'll leave a link in the description, you can chill out here in the sun. It's boiling today, mate. Okay, south to Morocco. Here's the steps and the entrance to the truck, but we'll go in there in a bit. There's loads of storage. I'm not sure what half of these are or if we're allowed in them, but... Nah, it's locked. Yeah, that was locked, we'll show you that. I think there's tools and wires and bits and bobs, all Eduardo's gear in those. This blows my mind every time it's I hear crazy, it. It's crazy, so it? cool. But this goes in, and then there's a ramp there which they mount the motorbike on as well. They've got a sick bike around the corner. Wow. <laughs> Oh my goodness. More storage under here and under here. They've also built this washing line here for the wetsuits to dry. This is probably the best bit of kit we've ever seen. I think this is one of my favourite parts of this place. <laughs> so Bernardo's like a genius. He loves inventing things and coming up with things. So he's built this, which is their grey water tank disposal, but it's a bike. <laughs> The fuel tank is made from a fire extinguisher. So if they're too far away from like grey waste, they've got a pipe that comes out here. The pipe connects to this, and then Eduardo takes the bike and empties it in like a proper place. So good. It's so genius. Do you want to sit on the front? No, I do not. 
So in this section, we've got the aircon, and then they've got a gas bottle, which they take out when the aircon's run in, just in case there's a leak. <laughs> so they use the gas for cooking and for the hot water. So the last bit I'm gonna show you is the cab, which has got loads of room for storage. It's literally massive. They've got reverse cameras, loads more storage up here as well. And the guys actually built this bed because they looked at a price for a bed for one of these and it was 700 euros. So they built it themselves. So they use this for when they're doing massive drives down from Portugal, because obviously the truck, it, when it all expands and you can't sleep in the beds. So they just sleep in this and sleep in little truck stops. I'm not fully stood up, but I'm six foot. Yeah. Huge. Eduardo said, there's one thing I don't want you to touch, which is that. He said, that's the handbrake. <laughs> That comes off, we're going into the village. So that's the outside, now on to the inside. You're gonna love it, come with me. Oh, sorry, I nearly fell. <laughs> so, if you stay in here as a guest, you're gonna need a key card to get in, but you get in just by here. So, welcome to the inside of the Truck Surf Hotel. Look how incredible it is. This place is just like so creative, so innovative. Like the design was created by Eduardo and Eduardo only. So he worked with the company to put this idea into practice and it took about nine months for them to get it from normal truck to expanding truck with a beautiful interior, which is thanks to Daniela. So obviously they've got a huge table to accommodate all of the guests that they have stay here lovely seating area so that you can chat with your new friends that you make your bezies for life this is a sofa there's also storage underneath they've got actually loads of storage in this place which is amazing i cut my finger <laughs> okay oh my god boiling i can highly recommend morocco in january and um, this is the kitchen area the guys did it right they've got like the pokey cat poke poke them in what are they called? Pokemon. Pokemon. <laughs> if you're going to renovate a van, get these. Inspired off like um, Netherlandish boats. The guys have got a full-size washing machine in there just to do all of their dirty laundry. I'm nosy, you're nosy. So they've got like a full house boiler just by there. Uh, instant hot water, which is fabulous. Um, and a projector there. So if you come and stay with these guys, you'll get the full experience. They take you out, they do yoga, they do surf lessons. So when you come back in, they'll pop the projector on. Screen's up there. Ta-da! <laughs> oh, I have the glasses. You look like a proper teacher with the glasses on. <laughs> they film you when you're out and they bring you back, put it on the projector screen and they give you tips on like how your form was and how you can do better tomorrow. I wonder how many marks you're gonna get. Nil point. Microwave, more storage at the top, lovely counter space, four hob burner, beautiful kettle. This, this is extra, isn't it? It expands that way, yeah. Yeah, so all this pulls in. We haven't seen it working yet, but we're so intrigued on how it does work. But you see where this line is on the floor? That all moves in, it all shifts in like this. So you can't actually get into this section whenever everything's collapsed, which is really cool. Oh, Marigold. Look, time out. Show, show Marigold. She's our little friend who's got a um, mange. Bless her. Feed her every day. So this is um, the washing up section and the water has a UV filter. I've been told to say that. I have no idea what it means. <laughs> this means it kills all the bacteria so you can drink it. Means it kills all the bacteria so you can drink it. It's just a fan, it's a fan. So that pulls out when you're, when you're doing your food and all the curry extracts go up into there. Loads of cutlery, loads of plates and bowls and stuff. So these guys have got two fridges. One's for the guests. They put all their stuff in there. If we had vegans come, they can put their food in there. Anything you could need, there's room. Before we carry on with the tour, we'd like to thank this week's sponsor, Athletic Greens. <gasps> What's the matter, love? I just don't feel like my energy's been supported throughout the day. Well, that's a shame. I'll have some of what she's having. 
As you may have seen, we spend a lot of time on the road. So we've been using AG1 by Athletic Greens to make sure we're getting all of our vitamins and minerals in whilst we're on the go. Athletic Greens sources the best and highest quality ingredients it can find. And AG1 has over 75 vitamins, minerals and whole food sourced ingredients. And since having it, I've noticed my nails have grown a lot faster. And I find myself feeling a lot less anxious because I've swapped out my morning coffee for morning AG1, which has zero caffeine, but it still gives me that energy boost I need throughout the day. It's all about the long game, lads. I've kept my AG1 routine up for three months and it's been the easiest and best thing I've done for my health. Oof. It's also gluten-free, dairy-free, paleo, vegan, keto, and low calorie, with less than one gram of sugar per serving. Whether you're climbing a mountain, sandboarding or chilling in your gaff. AG1 provides your body with everything it needs for optimal performance every single day. So for a year's supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase, go to the link in our description. Or go to athleticgreens.com forward slash king in it right now. Nah. Here is our room. It's a bit messy, <laughs> but you can have a look. So our room also like uh, closes, uh, the, the bed goes against the wall and then the metal part here is a slide that slides in and then the room stays half of the size when we close the truck, so this big. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> These guys do tours both in Morocco and in Portugal, so um, ask the, one of their beginners there, that's where they took them. That could be you. That could be you, so make sure you book on because you'll be as good as that when you leave. One of the most extravagant showers I've ever seen. Not in a hotel, not in a mansion, but here. Well, obviously, once you're done with your surf lesson, you want to come back in, you're a little bit salty. Jump on in. Probably get about six of you in there. Save water and all that jazz. All of the jets work, you get a good scrub. But remember, you are in a truck, so you need to conserve water. So this truck holds 500 litres of fresh water and 500 litres of waste water. So that seems like a lot, but when you've got 12 people showering, you need to make sure you have quick showers, but luxury at the same time. We have uh, here the toilet. This we one? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not this one. And it's full, Daniela. <laughs> It's a bit better than that one with the ocean view oh, as you really? can see. Because it's such a small space, they've created this walkway so it seems like it's a lot elongated and a lot bigger than you actually think. The sky's the limit, Craig. They have a full household toilet, uh, flushes, and it actually goes into what Eduardo said was a blender. So it blends everything up that goes down and then goes into one of these boxes that they can take off and transport to the right facility. They also make a killing on their side hustle, selling chocolate milkshakes out the back. <laughs> there is Wi-Fi, but you only get the password when you come and stay. So you've booked on, now you want to know where you're going to stay. Let me show you. Don't poke me up the bum. <laughs> so there's five bedrooms, four are bunk beds, two single bunk beds, and the end one is a double room for couples. But this whole section here comes in. So it doesn't even exist really, which is mind boggling. Um, I think it does, because you're in it. <laughs> <laughs> so the bunk bedrooms, this is what they look like. Really cool, everybody has a window, which always has an amazing view, because these guys, they follow the surf and they park up right next to the sea and it's just incredible. But yeah, you and a friend can come, you can get taken care of for the week, get all your food, get all your yoga going, learn how to surf and just, have a great special experience staying in this truck. It's really so cool, it's, it's, it's so unique. So everybody that stays gets a little key. This gets you in and out of the truck and in and out of your bedroom. Yeah. She's going for a nap. So when the truck closes and all comes in, this is what they have to do with the beds. They put them up like this. Have you ever forgotten anything and like squashed something? Yes. <gasps> <laughs> we actually forgot one bed open oh, and no. then it got crashed, oh like, yeah, smashed. Uh, but because they are from IKEA, thanks to Eduardo because he's uh, very handy and uh, he's quick doing it. So in one hour it was fixed. The van is too strong, like the, the system itself is too strong. It's made with iron and uh, hydraulic uh, wow. systems and electrical. 
so anything that is on the way gets smashed. Wow. So we make sure nobody stays behind. Yeah. Right <laughs> Hopefully they didn't squash us tonight. I know. Imagine getting caught in here. And I'd be so stupid, I wouldn't know which bit came in and which bit was safe to go in, you know? Let's test it out later. Yes, the resistance is our chambre, our bedroom. Good Check you out, babes. I know. Oh, you cultured. Morocco. Who knew they spoke French, which is crazy. And Arabic. So yeah, this is our bedroom for the night. It's really nice that they've got the option of like a, a couple's room, a lovely double bed. Um, lovely and spacious. They've got a wicked blackout blind. And obviously, again, the view is just incredible. So now that we've shown you around, let us show you how to put it into drive mode. It's incredible. I can't quite get over it. It's, it's the concept and the innovation of it all is insane. I'd like to introduce you to my new best friend. <laughs> Go on in, mate. Mi casa, su casa. Best part about hanging around with these guys is uh, they've got the best neighbours. <laughs> Wait till you finish what's in your mouth and then I'll give you some more. What about chilli? No, not chilli. You're being his bum crazy. You love it. Yeah. Mr. Goat, do you want a chilli? There's pepper seen better days. Not my, not my pants. Pepper? Personal space would be great. Hang on, hang on. Oh, you're so cute, but you are slobbered on my dungarees. <laughs> more? <laughs> <laughs> Lovely gear. Oh, geez, they're a bit deadly, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> what else we got? <laughs> oh, mate, you come at the right time. You are gonna have a feast. <laughs> when you're ready, when you're ready, babes. You are <laughs> so cute. What do you call him? Albert. You like tomatoes, Albert? Not, not a full one, Craig. You like tomatoes? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Albert, like, get out, man! <laughs> oh, new wallpaper, man! Was that good? You want to lick the rest off the bloody sofa? <laughs> Sorry, Albert, I'll go your back, mate. Okay, see you later then. Lovely to have you over for dinner. <laughs> Home for the night. Oh, we're cozy there, yeah. How many nights are you packing for, Trev? We've got like a little lock here, you just press this button. And then press it again. And we're stuck oh, in we're here forever. It's locked. How do you get out? I don't think the key works. The security is so good you can't actually escape. <laughs> We're actually stuck in the room. <laughs> Daniela Eduardo was stuck in the room, in, in the couple's room, uh, on the top floor. Get out the way, I'll try. Yeah, we're stuck. <laughs> Guys? Okay, Daniela's message back. She said you need to push it and hear a click and then hopefully it'll open. You just right, met. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have to close it to open. I was like, we've been in here for about 45 minutes. She's like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <I'm> it's okay. <laughs> You're going to start shouting out You're the window. You're not the first one getting stuck. <laughs> <laughs> the sun has set. We were going to cook in the truck, but nobody can be bothered. So we're going to go to the local spot. We've heard there's some banging tagines. So we're going to go there for some dinner. Thank you. 
We popped next door and ended up having dinner with the whole family from the local village. Tajing's all round lads. And some mint tea, of course. Bedtime. And I'm going to need to go for a shower because I think now a little bit. Lucky it's not smell a vision. Yeah, but we always like to have a little shower before we get in anybody else's bed. Craig's not going to have one, so uh, guys, if, if the room does smell, then that's all Craig. But yeah, I just want to see how it works as well. Like, we've only ever had a shower in custard, and at the minute, her water heater's broken. Craig, oh no! Brilliant. It'll be nice to have a lovely warm shower that doesn't give you brain freeze. <laughs> I'm slightly paranoid that someone might sit on the button and close the whole truck by accident. <laughs> so if that was to happen, this is the only part that would be not squashed. So we'd end up like this. You have to do a handstand. <laughs> right then, Trev. See you in the morning. Good morning from the Truck Surf Hotel in Morocco. First things first, pancakes. Morning, kid. Morning. Pancakes. Pancakes. What a spot to wake up to. So I don't know if we mentioned it, but we're actually in a place called, or just outside of Tagazout, just on the coast of Morocco. Um, and we've woken up and I can hear Jack Johnson playing downstairs and the sun's just coming out. So Craig's in the middle of making pancakes, so uh, I think we should go down for them because we've kind of got a full day planned today. Now I'm not the best at surfing, but it's my New Year's resolution to give everything a go. So I'm going to do it. This recipe is actually one of our friends, Amy and Bex. Here we have the world's fluffiest pancakes. They look so good. That was a little bit good, look at that one. <laughs> They're really good. Craig makes pancakes all the time, but they never taste like this. Like, no offense, Craig, or anything. <laughs> so we've come to the Truck Surf Hotel, and we've come for one thing and one thing only. Surfing. So the guys have got this extra truck, which they load with all the surfboards, and we use this truck to find the waves. Let's do this. Let's go surfing, guys! Woo! Bye, Marigold! Okay, we've had a quick look at the tide. Don't know what I was looking at, but I've been told it's doable, and we're yeah. going. Ready to get barreled, Amy Bannister? We've only walked down to the sea with our boards. I'm knackered and I'm steaming up. You can tell I don't get outside much, can you? <laughs> After having a quick lesson from Daniela on how to surf, I went in and did the complete opposite. Watch it now, watch how sick I am. She means ill, I think she's ill. If this ain't living the dream, then I don't know what is. Sun, sea, waves, beautiful. Okay team, that is us all surfed out. We've come back to the Truck Surf Hotel for a little tea. And, we, uh, we 
be fair, Mary Gold, she's just over your shoulder. Great, if you want to give her a little cameo. There Hi, she is. <laughs> <laughs> she's had dinner also. We, well, we haven't had dinner, I'm starving. What a day. I know, what a day. What a time. It's been such a fun 24 hours. Yeah. I would definitely recommend coming just to hang out with Daniela and Eduardo. They're so much fun. They're yeah. such lovely people. They'll make you feel so welcome here as well. It's like being in your mate's house. It's like so cool, isn't it? It's fabulous and just you just pick up things whenever you walk past things you're like oh that's new that's really cool you know there's, yeah. there's so much to see and it's such a a fantastic special experience i'm really glad we got to do it so thank you guys for having us yeah thank you so much guys so yeah like i said before if you want to book we'll leave the link in the description they've got tours in morocco and portugal yeah. um so for us there's rumors that the borders are opening but we're not done with morocco yet no we're not so we've got some awesome things coming up so if you haven't clicked subscribe already make sure you do that we've got a fantastic video next week and i'm not just saying it so you hang around and subscribe yeah, but we really be. do it's not gonna be like anything we've filmed before but it should be like a proper heartwarming yeah. fun you're gonna cry you're gonna laugh you're gonna love it yeah. so make sure you come back always remember guys just know that you can do what you want to do with your life it, you're totally in control your life is in your hands take those steps to make something great happen you can do it you really can feel the fear and do it anyway and always remember to rule your own world. One, two, three, bye. bye! The look of love. Oh, pardon you, that was a big burp. <laughs>